that's actually pretty awesome. This video, I figured I would talk to you guys and give you all the dates. So I'm gonna talk to you guys about why we chose a bus, all the pricing that went into it, our experience in buying a bus, and what inspired us to buy the bus. So let's jump into it. But before we do that, um, if you guys could just subscribe to our channel, leave comments, like it, it would mean the world to us. This has been so fun to start this channel. So just like and subscribe, comment. I wanna hear what you guys are doing, your thoughts. If you have a layout idea, put it in the comment below. Uh, we've been looking at layouts for the bus and it's so exciting to me, but if you have any good ideas, please leave them in the comments. I would love to hear your ideas or um, things that you've seen that work. Yeah, leave that down below. So first let's jump into why a bus and not an RV. For us, we really like projects. Um, well, I don't know if we really like them or I like them and I just get Andrew to get on board. <laughs> That seems to be more realistic. But anyways, we really do like putting our hearts into our projects. Our house, um, we have put our heart, sweat, and soul into that project, and we've made our house pretty much how we want it. Um, in our next project, we had no idea what we wanted to do, and then all of a sudden, I don't even know how it came about, we saw a schoolie on YouTube, and we were like, what is that? Like that's so weird and so we started like digging into it and we kept looking and looking and the more we watched we were like that's actually pretty awesome and we're both really tall andrew's six five and i'm five seven and we were like oh we can never do that and then the next video i swear youtube was like listening to us the next video was like how to build it with a roof raise and we were like bam there we go so we just kept digging into all the videos and watching them and it like fully inspired us. And at first we were like joking around. We are like, what if we bought a bus? We can't buy a bus. Like what if we, we can't do that? Like how are we gonna make an income? Like all these things. And then after we kept watching videos, watching videos, we were like, we have to do it. Like it is just like in our hearts, we have to do it. So if you are thinking about doing a bus or even opening a business or starting something, this is your sign right now to go and do it. We have been so excited. This is literally all we can talk about is like, what are we gonna do with the bus? What's next? What's our next step? How do we do this? How do we... And it's such a great learning experience already. And we're only what, like three, four weeks in. And I can't even imagine once we start learning about like solar and electric and all that stuff, like it's just gonna be, such an amazing journey that we're taking ourselves on. So, okay, that was very long, but I just wanted to say that it didn't start as like us just being like, oh my gosh, we're gonna buy a bus. Like we have been thinking about this for a very, very long time and watching every video on YouTube that we could find. Why did we choose a bus? Well, a bus is significantly cheaper than an RV. Here's the price of an RV that is the same size and year as our bus. And then this is what we paid for our bus. Yeah, there's a huge difference there. Um, and we get it, like we have to put a lot of work into it. So the cost is obviously gonna go up as we're adding solar panels, as we're doing all the electric. Like we understand that, but for us to be able to make it our own is still the main reason why we wanted to do this. So for us, it's no, it's a, it was a no brainer. Like deep down, we knew that the bus was our best option. We knew price wise, Andrew knows how to work on diesel motors a little bit. So he's knowledgeable in that area. We just knew it was right for us. We're inspired. We knew like price point that we wanted to be somewhere around six to like 10,000. That was like where we wanted to be with our bus. So. We looked online, we found a place in Ohio. Um, the guy had already gutted the bus and we were like, okay, we're gonna go check out this bus. Um, a couple weeks went by and we were like, you know, we really just wanna like do the whole thing ourselves. Like we don't want to have someone work on it a little bit and maybe do like kind of a shitty job. So we decided that we were gonna just get a bus, nothing done to it. So we started looking at that. 
and we found this auction online we and her found this auction online and he was like let's just try it like we'll, we'll try it if we don't get it we don't get it whatever so the original bus that we wanted had the under um, belly storage belly storage I think that's what it's called um, so we really wanted that bus but it went for like double mm, it went for 14,000 I think maybe even 18,000 and we were like ah no that's too much because we know we're gonna have to put a significant amount of work in it once we get it um, so then this bus was also on the same auction website and Andrew called the place that was having the auction and he talked to the mechanic who has been working on this bus for a very long time and he said it's an awesome bus runs great not very rusty all the things that we were looking for so we were like we'll try so I'm at work Andrew's on the auction site I'm on just watching the bids go back and forth and Andrew bid like 6600 or whatever and he was like that's it like we're not getting any further because we're gonna have to build those boxes underneath there was a couple other things it's a couple years older than the one that we really wanted to like we got it we won it and we were like I can't believe it like we literally just bought a bus so when you're looking to buy a bus my suggestions are know what kind of motor you want know if you want the motor in the front or the back for us it was really important to have the motor in the back um, we want to be able to talk to each other while we're driving um, and we wanted that space in the front and we knew in the back we were gonna raise our bed up anyways so it just made more sense for us to have the motor in the back but just Things that you cannot change about the bus, make sure you know that beforehand. Just know what you want before you buy it. Um, and then definitely check on auction websites. And then you can always call the people that are doing the auction and ask them questions like, is this a good bus? Are there any problems? Like, you know, all the things. Um, just don't be afraid to reach out and ask for help or ask people like, is there a mechanic in your area that can come see the bus? Like, I would highly recommend finding a mechanic to look at your bus um just someone that's not like selling it i think that was one thing that kind of made me nervous is like obviously where we got it they were trying to sell it and they could have told us like oh yeah it's a great bus and then we get like 100 miles on the road and it breaks down like you never know people can be shady you hope not but they, they can be so anyways that's how we went about buying our bus um definitely check out auctions you can talk to local school districts i know they are there's some sort of code there that they can't have us older than so many years. So that's another option. And then the last thing that I kind of wanted to talk about are things that like we sort of struggled with was what people would think of us buying a bus. And that is the dumbest thing in the world because it's your life. We were like, we're not going to tell anybody because we don't want people to think we're crazy or we're having a midlife crisis or blah, 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 blah. Um, we don't want to tell anyone because what if they think like bad parents or like, I don't know, there's so many things and we were like worried what other people would think of us like buying a bus and obviously not every Joe Schmo is buying a bus and turning it into a tiny home or an RV or whatever it is, but it, well, it's what we wanted to do and once we did it, we bought it and like everyone was asking like well, what are you gonna do and they started seeing these pictures of what the potential is they get it they're like that's awesome like good for you guys i'm excited and all those things we are not worried about um building out the bus we i am 100 percent confident that we're gonna do the roof raise everything's gonna be good we're obviously gonna run into struggles but that's with anything like we redid our house and i think it was one the septic broke two our garage was flooded three um our well was water was running low for we lost water to the barn like it was so many things stacked on top of each other that now when something goes wrong I'm like mm, whatever just on to the next thing and that's a blessing I think moving into doing the bus is because I know no matter what comes up that Andrew and I will figure it out and figured this week would be a good week to break from showing you guys any of the demo stuff we're down to just the metal floor right now if you guys have questions please leave us comments if you're working on a project of your own i want to hear all about it put it in the comments put what your project you're working on any struggles that you overcame sharing that stuff inspires so many people so thank you guys for watching next week come back we'll have some more demo we'll have some more construction we'll be building boxes we'll be doing all kinds of stuff so make sure to subscribe to the channel 
Thank you guys so, so much. Cheers. Thank you.